Hey everyone, Rod the Tool Guy here with Aris Tools. We're introducing our new line of electronic flex head digital torque wrenches with angle. Our 43008 and half inch drive and our 43007 and 3 8 drive. The half inch drive covers 25 to 250 foot pounds, that's 34 to 340 newton meters. And the 3 8 stripe covers 10 to 100 foot pounds, which is 13.5 to 135 newton meter range with an accuracy of plus or minus 2% for torque and 1% for angle mode. And that's pretty good. These are beautiful torque wrenches with outstanding ergonomic non-slip grip that fits your hand. This allows for repeated and proper hand placement for accurate torque applications every time. Both have a 72 tooth sealed flex head reversible design. Uh, giving better access and leverage. Awesome for those applications where a 90 degree approach just won't do it. Each unit is calibrated and certified at the factory and comes with this certificate of calibration. They also come in this heavy duty uh, molded storage case to protect your investment and make sure your torque wrench uh, maintains its accuracy. They have this great LCD readout giving you an easy to read display along with color changing backlight indicator when target torque setting is approaching. We will go into these uh, indicator features more during our application demo uh, later in this video. You have nice size control buttons uh, located right next to the readout, making them quick, easy, and accurate to use. Here's how you set up your new electronic torque wrench for use. Before turning on the power, be sure that there's no torque applied to the wrench. Uh, also, they take uh, AA batteries. Uh, you'll have to uh, get those yourself. So you hold the button right here for two seconds, and it'll turn it on just like that. Next, you can select your preferred unit of measurement. You have five to choose from newton meters, foot pounds, inch pounds, kilogram of force meter, and kilograms of force centimeter. You have three modes available in an alert setting that I think you're really going to like. Peak torque mode, which is ideal for setting a uh, specific value. Example would be torquing uh, lug nuts on wheels. Angle mode for applications requiring angle after doing a tightening sequence like torque to yield head bolts and then you have a peak angle mode that combines both peak torque and angle in one easy operational step. Great for uh, tightening crank and cam bolts um, and you have a specific torque alert setting. This alert lets you know when you're approaching your uh, set value. To set the mode you press the M button uh, to scroll through the options and the select will show at the top of the display indicating the mode that is currently uh, selected and then you press the set button to select your preferred mode. So we'll go through that and uh, select some modes here. To set peak torque mode, which is the P, first let, it, uh, let us set a specific uh, torque in peak torque mode. To do so, first you press the uh, set button and you use the arrows to select the, the correct torque value and you press the set button again to lock it in. Okay, so you want to set the angle mode. You select the A and you go through your modes. There's your A, you select that, hit set, and it puts it in. Now, you have to have it on a flat surface like this and zeros come across the screen. Uh, in this set mode, it uh, is calibrating when it does that. And the last angle value will be displayed once you're ready to set a different value. So then you press set again, and now you can use your arrow buttons to uh, set which uh, angle, degrees of angle you would like. Then you hit set once again to lock it in. So let's set it in pink angle mode. We'll select the mode, PA, and uh, remember you have to let it lay flat. And hit select, and now it's gonna calibrate, and it's gonna show uh, the last torque setting that uh, values you had displayed. Uh, we can change the torque using the arrow buttons and select uh, set to lock it in. Next, the screen will display the angle, A-N-G, and if the angle is correct, you press the C. If you wanna change the angle, you press set, and you'll use the arrow buttons uh, to adjust that angle, and then you hit set again to lock that angle in. 
Also, you can set a, a specified torque alert tolerance. You can set from max of 50% down to 5% before you reach your target value. Uh, for angle, you can set 50 degrees to 5 degrees before the specified angle. This helps you with your accuracy and uh, helps you uh, avoid surprises so you don't blow past your uh, setting and end up over torquing. On today's vehicle with high tech drivetrain, accuracy and torque is extremely important. With the addition of uh, angle measurements or even more critical applications, you need to take the guesswork out of service and repair. These torque wrenches will do that, giving you peace of mind on the job. If you've ever broken a torque to yield head bolt, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. These new electronic torque wrenches from Aries Tools have a unique multimedium alert function. As you approach and reach your specified torque, uh, the backlight on the LCD will panel will change color, changing from blue to green, and then finally red. An audible buzzer will sound also increasing in frequency as you come closer to your specified torque. And finally, when the target setting is reached, the handle will vibrate. With these new Aries electronic torque wrenches, you have a visual, audio, and tactile simultaneous alert system, ensuring that you'll never go over torquing anything again. We have seen how easy they are to set up, and now let's put them to work so you can see them in action. So this would be the perfect use uh, for the peak setting. So you go ahead and set the specified torque, and um, notice the 90 degree flex head gets you out away from the vehicle. And it gives you the vibration, audible, and changing of the color of the LCD when you hit the uh, torque setting. Okay, for the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I've got the angle set really low because uh, these bolts have already been torqued and uh, the angle's been done on them. So what you need to do is after you've run your, your torque pattern, you need to do that angle. You set your angle on the torque wrench as we've demonstrated and then you, now you can see how it's going to operate and alert you to uh, what's going on as we approach that target. So turn green, red. Okay, so uh, we discussed peak angle. So what I've done is I've set for 20 foot pounds of torque and 10 degrees of angle. Again, these head bolts have been done, so we don't want to push them. And I'll show you how that kind of works out. And when, okay, now you've hit your, your torque. That's what the beep is. The second set of beeps was the angle. And you'll notice your torque reading is higher than what you set it for, but that's because it's including that uh, angle degrees, of what it takes to do that. As you can see, these torque wrenches give you great versatility and accuracy to get the job done right the first time. Definitely making the job easier, and that's a plus in my book. Thanks for watching, and be safe out there.